Don't Stop Together's newest update, Taking Root, is out next week, everyone. Thus kicking off Don't Stop Together's freshest story arc from beyond. It's pretty neat stuff, detailed ever so slightly more in this post right here. We got new post-end game riffs, spewing out looter energy after defeating the Celestial Champion and or turning on a couple server settings. The first creature spewing out absolutely targeting crops, saplings, grass, you name it, and giving us a headache. But with the unique and powerful gear that we can make via their drops, the whole combat side of all this is actually going, for lack of a better term, I suppose, beyond what we're used to, and that's the draw. At least it's supposed to be, everybody, as this is why I truly wanted to sit down and talk about this rather brief post. Their quick notes kind of give us a lot of notes to take, if you know what I mean. As discussed in the most recent roadmap, the new arc is focused on both endgame and early game content. And Taken Root here is the first major update in this arc and is mainly focused on the entry point of this new endgame content. And while we attempt to make sure that every major update is fun on its own, including this one, I want to address that this particular update won't be immediately apparent in how much it will affect the overall game right away. While Taken Root includes some new items, abilities, and creatures, the full depth of how all of this will play out cannot be seen immediately. This means the balance of these items are focused around upcoming content and not necessarily intended to be direct upgrades to existing contents. Since the end game portion of From Beyond is being split into three parts, the balance is being designed with the upcoming content in mind. Now that doesn't mean we don't want bug reports and feedback, just that you should keep in mind that you don't have the full picture yet, but it's still good for us to know your thoughts. Thanks to everybody for all that feedback back and bug reporting during the beta period and we are still working and reading it so keep it coming all right folks let's start from the very tippy top and work our way down right taking root is the first major update in the arc that is all about entry to the post end game okay that makes sense we knew that from the beginning. But then they go on to say that while indeed it is true that this update has added a lot of things for the beyond, they are saying that from beyond is getting split into three parts. Does that mean that all three parts are going to be post-endgame? Because at the end of it all, they make a very, very clear statement to everyone who's been talking about this update for several weeks now that our bug reporting and feedback doesn't actually matter all that much. Now, don't you dare misinterpret me, everybody. Those are Clay's words, essentially. They will take the feedback into account. They will fix whatever bugs and what needs to be. But none of it will matter, and none of it will be true until apparently two to three months from now. And that's kind of weird. But before we talk any specifics and maybe some opinions on the taken root side of all this, I do want to say that Clay's right in thinking that they can do this again. And what's this, you ask? Chunk updates within a bigger arc. It's worked in the past. Return of them, turn of tides, the ocean, the lunar side. It has indeed worked. The thing is, all of those updates were so big and added so much that they actually worked so much better as separate pieces in the grand scheme of things that... It all synergized eventually and smoother than this might. Does that make sense, everyone? I'm not necessarily sure if I have to explain that more. To me, it was just every past content update worked within themselves so well that once the whole picture was out, it just fit, right? But with Taken Root and From Beyond here, they are specifically saying that this is part one of three and we will have no picture of what any of it means until part three is out and potentially two or three months from now? Yeah, I don't think that works anymore. Especially once we talk the true specifics here. Not much as we've been going on about it for a while, but I'm mostly on about the planar damage. Offensively, defensively. All that stuff. Completely wild new mechanic out of nowhere. And none of it's going to matter until the third update's out. <laughs> because I'm assuming that part two maybe adds a couple more things. And then part three is going to be the big thing, right? A new boss, a new this, a new showdown. And then all of it's going to come together. That's the problem here. It's like, I get it. You don't want to drop it all at one time. You've been doing these monthly content updates for so long. It's worked in the past. But in this particular case, it's kind of just a gut punch. We'll have to deal with it, right? It's a beta. I understand that. And I'm cool. I'll wait. Fine. 
but you have to understand the optics of this clay. It just doesn't sit right. Maybe if you weren't so damn secretive all the time, you can give us a little bit to nibble on so you can sate us a little bit and kind of relieve the stress and the thoughts and the feedback and the bugs and the yelling in the forums. By the way, never listen to the forums anyway, but you get the picture. It's just weird because we still actually don't even know if part two is going to be end game stuff or is it going to be early game stuff because as they said from beyond is the next arc is three parts but we don't know if it's three parts of all post end game or if it's a mix and match that's also something that should probably be clarified but whatever the case may be and regardless of what's being said here there anywhere i like the look of the new stuff i like the idea behind the new stuff i wish just things were better now instead of three months from now but we will still be here absorbing the new stuff learning it sharing it and expanding upon it We're Whatever the case may be. Because yes, it is a beta at the end of the day. They're all going to be betas at the end of the day. We're all going to figure it out. But again, I will just say, as things stand now, it just feels weird. So folks, let me know your thoughts as well. And do make note of this. Next week is also the 10-year anniversary of Don't Starve as a Franchise. And Clay, and maybe some of us ambassadors, do have some things in the works there. And they are also releasing an animated short with this content update. And that should be pretty freaking nifty. But I'll see you in the next one, folks. Bye-bye.